Well, good morning and welcome to this week's Worship from the Hut. Um, Sunday the 20th. No? Yes. You haven't a clue, what have you? You did this last week. Today it is... Oh, gosh, I don't know. I can't see you either. A minute. Does it really matter? It doesn't really matter, does it? No. Sometime in October. The clocks went... 24. Back last night, yes. So anyway, we're here. Worship from yeah. the hut this morning. We're going 25th. to be... 25th. 25th. We'll get we're, there. We're going to be talking about love this morning. Uh, guess what? We're going to be hearing about the greatest commandment. Uh, we're going to have that reading a little bit later from Matthew's Gospel. So let's start with a great song about love, a hymn that's written by Charles Wesley um, called Love Divine. <laughs> to a time of prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you on this glorious autumn morning with beautiful bright sunshine, blue sky, white clouds and that stirring of your wind in the air, your breath blowing through the trees there for us to receive. We look at the sky in its enormity and know that it is of your creation. We see the birds flocking together, those preparing to fly south for warmer times as the winter will approach in our country. And we think about the beauty of your creation, the way it all knits together and works beautifully, that no one other than the great creator God could possibly have made. You brought it all into being in your time and through your ways. And we thank you for that awesome God. We come before you in our time of worship today, full of wonder and love and praise for you. Lord, in the moments of quietness, we can draw close to you. But in the busyness of our days, Lord, we fall short. 
we fall short and we do not act, think or speak in the ways that you would have us do. And we reflect upon those moments and think of the times this last week where we have let you down and in doing so equally let ourselves down. Lord, we are truly sorry for those times when we've been selfish, when we've been reckless and irresponsible, when we've thought only of ourselves and not of others. So this morning, Lord, we ask for your forgiveness. We ask that in your mercy and your grace, you will make us right once more with you. Forgive us, Lord. Renew us in this moment to know that we can start again, right once more with you, and to be guided by your Holy Spirit to make a better job of this week. And in asking for that forgiveness, we share today in the words that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is our kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So let's have our reading from Matthew's Gospel. <clears throat> and so the reading comes from Matthew chapter 22. And it starts at verse 34, the greatest commandment. Hearing that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees got together. Now one of them was an expert in the law and tested him with this question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbour as yourself. On all the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. The question's about David's son. Now, while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them this question. Who do you, th who do you think of the Messiah, whose son is he? They said to him, the son of David. He said to them, how is it then that David by the spirit called him Lord, saying, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If David thus calls him Lord, how can he be his son? No one was able to give an answer, nor from that day did anyone dare to ask him any more questions. Ah, such an interesting passage, isn't it? it is. <laughs> such an interesting passage. On the one hand, a really straightforward, you know, this is what we should be doing, mm -hmm. loving God mm -hmm. and loving our neighbours as ourselves. And then Jesus is being challenged, you know, Jesus is being challenged, you know, if he's the son of David or people, you know, think he's the son of David, um, how can he be who he claims he is? Because, uh, you know, the, the son of David is just a descendant of David. Mm. It's a human, human, de human yes. descendant of David. Um, but Jesus says, no, David called, J David called Jesus Lord when he was mm. praying. Yes. And therefore, um, it's more than just more than. a human descendant. It's so much easier, isn't it, for us with what we know now? 
how Jesus was wholly human and mm. wholly divine. Mm. We we know the answer to okay. that, but you can imagine if you put yourself in that situation, it would be very difficult to kind of get your head around this. Can can you believe what's being said? Yeah, yeah, I think very hard mm. for people to understand. And I think with the with the Pharisees in particular, I mean, they had a very, um, you know, they were trying to uh, protect the purity of the of the Jewish faith, faith yeah. trying to protect it to the letter of the law. And, you know, their understanding was is that, you know, the Messiah would be born through David's mm -hmm. lineage. Um, yes. And uh, and therefore, um, yes, the Messiah would be uh, mm -hmm. something different, perhaps, from from what uh, Jesus presented to them, you know, yes. and, and, and Jesus argues with them and, and, and says to them, well, actually, no, you have to think about this a bit deeper. It's not just kind of following a human line. Mm -hmm. You've mm. got to think about this. You know, there's, Wait, there's another level. <laughs> there's another, another level. level. There's another yes. level. Yeah, exactly. Yes. But I mean, it's hard, isn't it, to think for anybody, you know, when you're talking to anybody about it and you say to people, well, Jesus was both human, fully human and fully divine. It's quite a difficult concept, I think, yeah. to, to explain. Yeah. But isn't that the whole point of faith? Mm. You trust and you believe. Yes. You, it, it's not, can't be proved by science because it's in God's realm. Mm, absolutely. absolutely. And that is the whole point of the word faith. Mm. Mm. And so I think over time, people try to find different ways to understand and explain who Jesus was. And I know when we sing our next song, which we're going to be thinking, Father, we love you. Jesus, we love you. Yes. Spirit, we love you. Because people talked about Father, Son and Holy Spirit as a way of trying mm. to explain who You're Jesus to bring that, was. That trio, if you yeah, like, Trinity, together. Yeah, Trinity. Yes. Three in one. Three in one, absolutely. Yeah. 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 And I think that is a, is a picture that we've got, a way of understanding sort of who Jesus was really, who yeah. Jesus is today yes. um, yeah. and how he is, you know, in our hearts. It's God's, you know, God's work mm. through mm. Jesus, through the Spirit. Yeah. Um, yeah it's, and, uh, and of course, at the time, you've got the Sadducees and the Pharisees are all trying to catch Jesus out. Mm. And if only we could all live by those two great commandments. Oh, I mean, well, that's the other challenge. Isn't, isn't it? it just? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you know, the world wouldn't be as it was, I think, if we followed those commandments to, you know, well, literally, right. literally to the letter, yes. but in the spirit of those commandments as well. Yes, very much the spirit. Loving God and loving our neighbour as ourselves. And, of course, Jesus extended that and said about loving enemies as well. Yeah, yeah. So it was a huge, huge challenge. Huge challenge for all yes. of us. Yeah. Yeah. So. And of course, I suppose that's the state the world's in because there are those who have strayed away from trying to even follow the commandment if they'd ever even considered it in the first place because of the very nature of humanity and the fall. Mm. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. Perhaps we should sing that song then. Father, we love you, we worship and adore you. Yes. Uh, Jesus, we love you, Spirit, we love you.
So let's pray today for the world and for our communities, for our families and friends, for those who are sick. Heavenly Father, we offer these prayers to you. And with those words in our hearts, Father, we love you. We worship and adore you. We glorify your name all over the earth. And Father, as we love you and we seek to love our neighbour as ourselves, we pray today, Lord, for our world, neighbours, maybe some distance away, but nevertheless, neighbours in this world. We pray, Lord, for this world that you have created. This diversity, which brings great colour, but at the same time brings great struggle. And today, Lord, we pray for your world. Pray for healing, Lord, in your world. Pray, Lord, that this virus, this COVID-19, will be something that will disappear, eradicated. Lord, we pray for all those working on a vaccine. We pray that people will be responsible, shielding each other, protecting one another, preventing the spread of this illness. Jesus, we pray this for our communities too. Here we are at home praying in this hut, worshipping you. We pray for our churches, some of which are open, some of which are closed. But we pray for our people who are the church, that they may go on witnessing. We pray for all the work that is going on in your name, all the service that people are offering and inspire each one of us today, Lord, to be more of your servant than we are. Show us the needs, the people. Show us where you want us to go. And we pray, Lord, for those who we know at this time aren't well. Maybe that's mentally, physically spiritually, emotionally, all different ways in which people may not be feeling well. And Lord, we take a moment of silence to bring to mind those people who we know are in need of prayer. Jesus, we love you, we worship and adore you. We glorify your name in all the earth. Jesus, we thank you for your life in us, your death and resurrection that made it all possible, that we might be set free in the power of your spirit. Spirit, we love you. We worship and adore you. Glorify your name in all the earth. So help us today, Lord, as we spread that love through whatever way we can in the world as it is at the moment. We ask you to encourage each one of us. Fill each one of us with the power of your spirit so that we might serve you more. We ask these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I think we're going to sing our final song with our little friend who's <laughs> joined us here. You can't see her on the screen, but we've got a little friend here called Poppy. She's our cat, uh, our friend, <laughs> part of our little family, and she's here, although you can't see her. <laughs> I don't know what she's going to make of the guitar coming in. Ooh, no, she didn't like that. <laughs> no, a lot of people say that about my guitar. <laughs> well, the guitar's all right. <laughs> so we're going to sing. 
Give thanks to the Lord, our God and King. His love endures forever. And that's so true, isn't it? That no matter what you're going through today, just hold tight to God. Hold on to Jesus' hand. He'll be with you through the thick and the thin. Father, we have our blessing now upon ourselves and upon each other. Forever God is faithful. Forever God is strong. Forever God is with us. Forever. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are with us forever. So we give thanks to you now and we praise you because your love endures forever. And Lord, lead us from here, wherever we are. Lead us in our hearts and our minds, our bodies and our souls, to be open to all that you have to give us, to enrich and to fill our lives, so that we may fill other lives through the power of our witness. So send us out now, Lord, in the power of your Holy Spirit to, to live and to work to your praise and your glory. We ask these prayers in Jesus' name.
Amen. Amen. And so, as we come to the end of our time together in worship in the hut, let's join together in those words of the grace. May, May the, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and the and love, the love of, God, of God and the, and the fellowship, fellowship of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Every blessing.